So today we're going to be doing a brand new radio which is in the box. It is TCB 900. It has a forward facing loudspeaker. There's been one or two recently with those kind of facilities. So we're going to see what's in the box. This is a set that we have bought in for evaluation because most of our customers are business customers and this would suit them more than a or you'd call a hobby type of radio. And what has struck me straight away is that is a very short radio. I don't know if we've got a rule here. No. But there we have it. It's reminiscent of a 1980s car radio. So I'll just pause the video. Right, so we've opened it up. I've got Mark here today. He comes when he can do. I used to work with him when we worked together in two-way radio at Nottingham somewhere. And uh, he's said to me, have a look at this new set. So that's why we're, we're doing it. I've been pushed into doing it by Mark. Hello, Mark. Hello. <laughs> yes. Um, so we opened this up. And although this is a very, one of the very latest sets, I noticed it's got a, what we believe to be a tunable receiver. We can't find any information on it. But it looks to me like this is the receiver, that's the detector. It looks like there's one adjustment for the transmitter. And it, there's a preset down there, which looks like modulation to me. And there's a preset down there, which looks like deviation to me. I just spent um, three minutes trying to find why there's no power on it. And I'm going like this, and nothing's happening. And that's automatic squelch and, and, uh, and squelch control. The on and off's actually here. And it's powered up on the UK channel on channel nine, and I'll just we'll do that manually. Uh, we'll turn that to channel twenty, like that, and we'll take it from there. Something Mark and I have just noticed on this is that you can change the backlight colour, which is not unusual these days. And we notice the current consumption when we're on amber is 290 milliamps on standby. We notice when it's in blue, it's 290 milliamps on standby as it is. But we notice when the backlight is on a mix of those two colours, and of course both the five LEDs which make up that, you can see them there, uh, are obviously drawing current together. It's now 340 milliamps. So if you're trying to save power, uh, you can put it on blue or amber, but not the mix. So that's today's little tip. Notice the microphone's got up, down and lock on it. And you'll notice that it's got a 6-pin plug on it. Right, so we'll go through this with you. There's not many transmitter adjustments by the looks of it. I'm just working this out from what I can see in the set with no circuit diagram, no manual, no nothing. Um, quite clearly, you've got the VCO under this can, and correspondingly on the other side, it's protected that way. So hopefully that will help with microphony in the future. So the transmit frequency set, the 10.24 crystal is there, so the ceramic um, capacitor there, it may not be, it may be dielectric, is the frequency set. I'm just going to see what it is. We should be on 27.79.125, 27.79.115, so it has dropped slightly in shipment, but that's neither here nor there, it's well within tolerance. But I'll tell you what, I will just adjust that. That's brought it up to somewhere near, so that's um, that's where we do that. Now the only other thing I can spot is come out of the box doing um, just under 3 watts, about 2.9 watts. Uh, there's two things we can spot and first of all, if we can find the, the black tool, 
just down here we've got an inductor with a core in it which is adjustable that is the only thing in the transmitter which is adjustable so I'm just going to peek that and you can make a slight difference with that now we so looking into the transmitter now of the TCB 900 we can only spot one adjustment and that is the variable inductor which is just there and going into transmit we find we can make we can peak that it's that one just there it's a coil with a ferrite core in it and that is adjustable the power on this radio is set with a preset down here just to try and zoom in see there's a capacitor there I'll point it out with the yellow tool capacitor and that is the tra uh, transmit power out of the box this has done about 2.9 watts so we'll just see what it's going to if we can get four out of it and the answer is about 3.7 We also notice there's a control at this side, and that'll be the voltage regulator for the rest of the radio. How that's set up, we're not quite sure. There's a bar graph display on the front. If I'll just zoom out a bit, are you going to be going goggle eye? When I press transmit, we've got a full complement of lights. appears to be preset the way that works there doesn't appear to be an adjustment for that so we'll see if there is when we move on to the receive section the deviation looks like is going to be this one here I would expect that's going to be deviation so we'll just find out I'll get the little signal generator out that we hold up to the mic Out of the box it's doing 1.7 deviation. So if we can see that yeah. So we've now set that for 2.2. I don't want it to exceed 2.5 when I do the whistle test. <whistles> Wallow, that's right, so we've got that set. We'll listen to how that sounds on the monitor receiver. Testing one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. That seems nice and crisp. So right on that adjustment. AM modulation, for those of you who want to use AM, I'm not going to prove it by reprogramming the set onto EU bands, but I would suspect that that is going to be AM modulation, but we're not going to do that. When I do these videos, it's everything's always optimised on the UK 2781 band. At the end of the day, this is for me and for my customers, and not for uh, necessarily the be-all and end-all of what these sets are capable of doing. So I think that just about covers the transmit side of it. Um, has Mark got any ideas? No, that's, uh, no, that's no right. Yeah. That's it. So we've got single adjustment there for the transmitter we've got power adjustment there frequency set just there and deviation just there so there you have it the TTI TCB 900 transmit side